Yo, it's fall season, and if you know me, or if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I'm selling this camera that you're seeing, which is the Canon R5, and I'm selling this bad boy, the C70. And you're probably wondering why, so I figured I should make a video because there's a lot of talk about <laughs> me selling my cameras, so let's talk about it. All right. As you know, I'm a YouTuber. You're watching this video, so you know I make YouTube videos for a living. It's my livelihood. I don't do this just as a hobbyist. I don't make YouTube videos about helping creators get money, helping creators build their skills. I don't spend all of my time in my life filming these videos, editing these videos, concepting these videos just for fun. This is what I do for full time. This is what I do all the time. So if I and reviewing different cameras or lenses or lights or things like that, that's because I'm trying to show you all something that's new in this market or creative space. So with that being said, I use a lot of different cameras, right? I'm always having to change them. People are asking me, yo, what's the best camera? So I'm trying to figure out what the best camera is for maybe you or somebody else that's here on the channel or maybe somebody that stumbles upon some of my videos. I love Canon. Let's just put that out there, okay? For all the people on my Instagram saying, hey, welcome to Sony. No, it's not welcome to Sony. But on the same note, I'm not against Sony. I'm not against any camera brand. I'm not for all the camera brand wars. I love every single camera brand out there and I will use any camera brand out there. I will use whatever camera is in my hand. Put a camera in my hand and I'm gonna make something dope. It has nothing to do with what the cameras are. I personally judge the camera's usability and comfortability for me. Canon is one of the easiest, most comfortable in hand and menu settings cameras out there or camera systems out there. I've been using Canon for a very long time, so no, I don't plan on switching completely from Canon, okay? But I am selling this R5. This is gonna be the last video that you see from me, I guess. Well, not really, I got other clips, but this video is the last video that I'm shooting before I go ship this camera off. And this C70 is also being sold as well. Now let's talk about why. I know that was a long intro, like two minutes. First things first, completely honest, the C70, I don't use it that much. It is a cinema camera. It's beautiful. When I have used it, I love it. It's got some of the best footage I've ever seen. It's very consistent with colors. The dynamic range is beautiful. The battery life is beautiful. The in-hand experience, even with the top handle that comes with it, you don't need a different top handle. For everybody out there that's saying, go get you a different top handle, don't listen to what they're saying. This top handle works just fine. It's very nice. It's very easy. It's very comfortable. This camera is a freaking beast and I do like it, but for it to be, five, six thousand dollars sitting back there on my uh, tool bench where my gear goes all the time. There's no point in me having this camera. I'm not using it enough to keep it. It's just sitting back there, so there's no point. Sometimes I look at it and I debate, should I use that? Not for this project, not for that project or whatever. And it's like that messes with me when I'm trying to make things. When I look back there and I'm debating, should I use it and then I don't use it, I'm just like, why do I even have this? So that's why I'm getting rid of this. I'd rather it be in somebody's hands that actually uses it and needs it for whatever client work they do or whatever. I don't need this to make these YouTube videos talking about my life or vlogging or doing a road trip or whatever. I don't need that to make this type of content. And like I said in the beginning of this video, these are the types of videos that I'm making on a consistent basis every day for my livelihood. This is the stuff I make that makes me my funds, my income. So I'm not, if I was doing strictly client work music videos every day or every week, I would probably use this a lot more and I would need it. I got this with the intention to shoot more music videos and more client work, but I'm typically making more money doing stuff like this, helping you guys out, doing sponsorships, different stuff like that. So I don't use this as often. I don't need this for YouTube. Total overkill. You don't need a cinema camera to make YouTube videos. And most people aren't making YouTube videos or won't make YouTube videos because the space is just oversaturated. This is a nice camera. That's why I'm selling the C70. I am gonna start doing more client work but if I'm not doing it as frequent, I don't need this. So that's why I'm selling the C70. By the way, this hasn't sold yet. Hit me up on Instagram if you wanna buy it. Now, why am I selling this camera, the R5? Everybody's always wondering and asking me why it's got 8K, it's so great, it's this, it's that. The R5 is a great camera. Every single camera that I have owned and every single camera that's pretty much out there on the market that's come out recently is a good camera. One thing I dislike about this R5 and the R6, those two cameras coming from 1DX, coming from the R eras, I've been here for a while, I've been using these cameras for a long time, I'm very over observant. One thing I don't like about this R5 and the R6 
is the consistency in colors. You might go shoot something, it might look beautiful and great, nice crispy clarity, but the white balance is just off. It's a little yellow, or not yellow, it's a little magenta or it's a little green. It's just every single time, even if I shoot it in a specific white balance, it's coming out shifting. And I don't like that. Coming from a 1DX era, in the EOS R era, those cameras for me, I loved them because they were consistent. I knew that when I shot something and brought it home, I could drop my specific LUT on it and it was gonna look exactly how I envisioned it. It was gonna look exactly the way that I always get it to look. I could always get it back to the same place and it was easy. I built those LUTs and these presets over the years and my colors and my specific looks easy because I mastered the camera. The R5 and the R6, now is different. Every single time I've shot something, it might look good, but the colors throw me very off. And now, no, that doesn't mean I want Sony. It doesn't mean that I want Nikon. It doesn't mean anything. I just want consistency. It doesn't matter which camera brand it is, whatever. Another thing is since February, something was happening to my screen. It was like a little glitch. It was like getting brighter and darker and then maybe like a little line glitch in it. it happens some days, some days it doesn't happen. And I needed to send the camera into Canon to get fixed. And this happened after I did my Utah road trip, which that video is coming soon. Anyway, it happened after that Utah road trip. I don't know if it had to do with something with cold or maybe like being in the cold car overnight while I was sleeping in the car or whatever the case may be. It started happening and I needed to get it fixed and I never sent it in the Canon to get it fixed. And I kind of was just like, this is just another reason why I can just go ahead and just, just let it go. Just let it go. Let go of the camera, bro. Stop holding on to it so hard. Why you want to hold on to all these things and hoarder these cameras? I already had an issue with how the camera's colors were never exactly the same. They're always frequently changing and different. So that's the same reason why I got rid of the R6. I love the R6 and I love the R5. I think that both of those, these cameras or that camera and this camera are very sharp, very good clarity. They come out really nice. So overall, I do like this camera and I think that it gets really good stuff. It shot my last video. I've shot tons of videos on it, tons of music videos, tons of content. I also think that me being a YouTuber and helping some of you guys out, being on a budget, this is a very expensive camera. So is my C70. They're kind of out of touch with the content that I've always made made from the beginning of my channel. So I do realize that over the years I have collected more expensive gear and I've obtained more expensive lights and stuff like that. I don't always like that. I like that I come from having nothing. I like that one of the things about me that's made me a great person, have great characteristics and made my channel entertaining is coming from nothing and being able to, being able to make something. So I kind of miss that element about myself. I kind of miss that element of limitation. I wanted to feel like when I didn't have stuff again, I wanted to, I want to feel that hunger. I want to feel like I don't have all the greatest specs. I don't have all the greatest gear. I want to be able to make stuff in that pressure and that element. Diamonds are built under pressure, right? If you don't get follow along here, I don't know. Maybe you, yeah. I don't want to have all the greatest things. I don't want to have the best this, the best that. I want it to feel relatable with you all. I also want to be able to relate to who I am from my core. I'm somebody that comes from not having a lot and I feel like those made me a great person and they helped me make great content and sadness or just struggle makes beautiful art. So with all that being said, no, I don't want to just throw everything away and just be poor and not have anything. Not speaking that or manifesting that into existence. I love having great things. I love living a great life, but I do want to have some limitations when it comes to creativity because I think that it helps it better, make it better. So the R5 is getting shipped out. I should make a video on my camera settings for it because I have some cool stuff that I've done on the camera. Maybe I'll do that before I leave. And the C70 is still up for sale and that's getting out as well. And I'll just be making whatever moving forward. I, I don't know what camera I wanna use. I don't know what I'm gonna be using. I don't know what's gonna be, if I'm even replacing anything. I don't know yet. I wanna have some fun. I use Aperture Rent. There's a link down below where you can use it as well. I rent out cameras and I'll test out cameras and I'll see what I like. What if I like Sony? If I like Nikon? If I like Panasonic? I wanna try different stuff out. Especially with this being my main thing. This is the main thing I do. I create YouTube videos. I create educational value content for other creators like you to consume. So why not? try different cameras. Why am I sticking to one set of one set of lenses, one camera all the time? <laughs> if I did client work, yes, 100%, I would be stuck on what it is I'm good at because the sole purpose of my whole operation would be to make a good product for a client and get paid. So if that was the case, I would have just kept my 1DX because I made great videos and great photos with that camera and I love that camera more than any other camera. So I would have just kept that if the whole purpose was me to just create good work for clients 
cents and get paid and that'd be my whole thing. But it's not, I'm a YouTuber. I make stuff for you all to consume. I make stuff for you all to learn from. I make stuff to entertain you all. That's just what I do. I can't even lie. Just looking at this screen right now and just looking at the colors and everything, it looks so good. Like the light in my eyes, everything just looks really, really nice. By the way, I'm shooting this in 8K because why not? It's my last time using the R5, it has 8K. I may rent the R5 back out again, who knows? I'm gonna rent some stuff out and play with different cameras, obviously. If I want the R5, I'll just go get it. It's not a big deal to me. It's not the end all, be all, see all, whatever that thing is. Anyway, slap the like button if you care about this channel and you care about me in this video and my livelihood. <laughs> my livelihood because without you all there would be no YouTube videos I would not be making these YouTube videos I'd be doing client work and living my life and just probably not even on social media to be completely honest because it's not good for your brain all right I'm done yo that's why I'm selling this stuff so ho hopefully that was a, a good video <laughs>